Okay, we're going to jump right into this. I know this song will help you out a lot with all your different uh, right hand finger picking techniques and some of the characteristics that are similar to the uh, Chet Atkins style. So, first of all, we start out with a walk up G A B into a C chord. C chord should be played like uh, this, kind of a full C chord, so you don't have to bounce around to the G for the bass. Into an E minor. With that alternate bass going. All right, then into an F. So we've got a B in here that we have to lift up to. And go back into the C chord. Alright, and then we've got, okay, let's play that C chord. Then into a G chord with an A sharp in here. B, A sharp, B, A sharp. there. Uh, the melody here is kind of being hit on the last beat of the measure. Matter of fact, the last like 16th note uh, actually throughout the thing so far. If we listen, watch. There. There. And then our bass note comes in. See there. So that is very common characteristic in the Chet Atkins style and Merle Travis picking. Okay, so we're going to go back to the G here. Into the chorus now. Alright, so I'm going to break that down. C. B, okay, what I say, yeah, G slash B, uh, because the B is in the bass, hit open D, and then you're going to bar A, A in the bass, C, now in the tablature you probably see the C note here, okay, you can do that, but I'm going to play it here. It kind of gives a little bit snappier feeling. Okay. Kind of that. Alright, and you can get the same feeling with the other one, but let's try this. F. Okay, so that F. G chord. And see that that note comes before the first beat of the next measure. So that's where the melody is landing. Or you can do, which would be a better choice, try the E note there the first time, and then the second time you can try the C. All right, so that chorus is played quite a bit. So let's go ahead and go on to the uh, release here kind of based off of a D minor chord and a G okay here we go okay so D minor into a G real easy alternate bass C chord So here we're going to do, uh, let me back up. Okay, so do this. C chord. 
E, kind of E7, and then bar the C sharp, or the C and the G sharp. Then we go into the F chord like this here, barred, G6, C. Then it repeats, okay? That is the whole song right there. So when I repeat it, you'll hear me play a kind of a more muffled sound like this. doing here is in the right hand you're just kind of taking this part of the hand and muffling the strings all right it as much as you want it's really cool to do that and then if you want to free it up and and not muffle you know you can do it differently <laughs> you can get the tabs at my website and uh, have a great lesson for just a small amount of money so go ahead and enjoy it and you'll learn a lot about the right hand finger picking styles of Chet Atkins and Merle Travis and a whole bunch of others that that use this alternate bass and play the melody on top and and the rhythm and um, or the harmony in between so it's a fun style have fun with it